Temperatures are dropping and multiple rounds of snow are on the way. It's all thanks to a displacement of the polar vortex, which basically means expect several rounds of Arctic air, not just the rest of this week and into next week, but really for just about the rest of the month. Let's talk details though, especially in the short term. We saw the temperature drop first Wednesday in places like Minnesota through Chicago, with temperatures dropping 20 to 30 degrees just in 24 hours, which means Thursday, highs are in the 20s and 30s, and it's snow falling again, not rain. So each round of snow is a quick hitting clipper, which means don't expect crazy amounts of snow, but it's one after the other after the other, so it adds up. First Wednesday through the day Thursday, that's round one. Expect the highest snow totals downwind of the Great Lakes. That's where we could get one to two feet of snow, but for everybody else, it's one to three inches or even just a dusting outside of the areas highlighted on our snow map. The trend here is everything starts in places like Minnesota and Wisconsin, then moves through Chicago, Cleveland, Buffalo, and into Pennsylvania, other portions of the Northeast. Most of the snow, though, is going to be isolated to Minnesota through Michigan at least where we get accumulations. But again, Thursday into Friday, for example, in the Northeast, a lot of you will see snowflakes, just not necessarily accumulations. We start off the weekend with another round of snow. Really, the trend just continues day after day, but I'll show you the next snow map. Friday night through Saturday night, it's a much smaller area that gets even one to three inches of snow. Again, expect maybe a coating in other areas. Downwind of the lakes, very isolated snow bands where we get the heaviest amounts, six to 12, up to 18 inches of snow. Again, it's not that we're getting a huge snowstorm. It's one clipper after another after another. So you're probably gonna get sick of the cold and the snow once again, if you haven't already, and that snow adds up. Even if you don't have snow, watch out for slick spots, especially as we throw those temperatures dropping, places where maybe you had rain or even just wet roads that can very quickly freeze over to ice.